Hey boys, it's pre-patch time. I think there's a lot of confusion with enhancements. Um, we have a new Maelstrom system. It goes to 150. We get Maelstrom from auto attacks and various other things like our wool or if you spec descendants, um, our artifact. Um, and another thing we kind of have to spam just to get Maelstrom is either Boulder Fist or if you don't talent into it, it's just the uh, Rock Biter, which is has no cooldown. But all Boulder Fist does is really just Give it a cooldown, more damage, buffer crit chance, and our damage deal. The patch is not balanced for 100, it's balanced for 110. So classes are extremely unbalanced, PvP is really unbalanced, it's very impression damage is extremely low. He will be wiping on mythic raids that they've been clearing for months, etc. etc. Lots lots of stuff happening. Um, I'll probably just start with all the bad stuff and probably trying to cope with the good stuff and what we're kind of expected to. Um, start our survivability and our healing really isn't the greatest right now. They removed our beloved one minute Sham Rage. Probably one of the best damage mitigation cooldowns in the game, considering that it's low cooldown. With a great good old Astral Shift of Love Talent from Tier 1 and Wad. 40% uh, less damage for 8 seconds, 1.5 minute cooldown so awful like right it's really awful compared to Charm Rage um, you can't use this while stunned but you can use it while silenced um, with our healing that's kind of you get 76k 38k non crit but your heals are instant I want to say after above 20 maelstrom so let's see if I can attack something here yeah so 20 maelstrom yeah Instant heals. Um, a lot of our totems are gone, so that's grounding, uh, rip grounding, tremor, earth bind, uh, freedom if you talent for it, healing stream, searing, magma. I think that's it. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, we still have like a lot of the talents that we like a talent before, like Cap Float and Earth Grab. Uh, this new Wind Rush just increases our speed, but I'll go over that stuff later. Um, our mana pool is fairly small, but our mana also regenerates pretty quickly. But see, I'm just spamming Purge right now, and you can kind of see in the top left there, like or it's in the bottom left there, uh, my mana, right? So you can't spam Purge, right? It's the same thing as heals, right? Like, you're gonna go and spam like spam those instant cast heals all the time. So you're really gonna have to like kite. Learn how to kite boys. Uh one of the bigger heals that we're gonna be getting from is, is when we get our artifact and it's whenever we activate Astral Shift, we heal like a shit ton of our health like every second or every three seconds. So again, it's another part of our utility we're missing until we can get our artifact weapon. Um don't get me wrong, I think a lot of these changes are important and like they're good. And I think like a lot of things should have been removed because a lot of the things that we loved and a lot of classes the other people loved were the cancer of the game, right? And to be honest, this also helped with the flavor of the month wad shamans. <laughs> uh, the downside right now is we are we are a bit weaker but upside, which I think is pretty good. At 110, we are fucking blasted. Like, when we get our artifact, we're farming these we can 100 old kids. And you can, of course, expect a full guide from me when that comes. Also, our mastery has changed. It's pretty pretty minor, but it has changed. So now it actually increases our Stormbringer and Inventory proc chance. And of course, what we know before the. Fire Frost nature damage we deal, and if you don't know what Stormbringer is, we will show you. Let's see, Stormbringer, and it's just a thing to reset Storm Strike, which is huge for Herber. So mastery is really good, I think. Uh, I don't know what our stat priorities are. I wouldn't even worry about our stat priorities right now because it's pre-patch, and really it doesn't really matter what's going on in this patch. It's not balanced, so just do whatever you want. Uh, we'll figure out our priorities when we actually have. All of our kit. Uh, probably another thing I probably didn't mention is Storm Lash. Um, another thing that Blizzard wants us to do is become a kind of a utility support class and Legion. 
um, Stormwash whenever our weapons are enhanced, so with either Flame Tongue or a Frostbrand, we have a chance to enchant people's weapons, dealing them with very, very minor nature damage and helping with that. Like other stuff too, like Sky Fury Totem, which is like a banner for our teammates. Uh, Wind Fury Totem, exactly what it sounds like for our teammates. Thunder Charge, cooldown recovery for our teammates and ourselves. Bloodlust on one of our teammates and ourselves. So it's a like very, very uh, team based spec now. Which is good. I mean, people want to play with us, hopefully, right? Alright, so let's start attacking some stuff. Um, general rotation before I even start is for AoE, you want to crash lightning on cooldown. What crash lightning does will. Instantly will just do damage, they can cleave in front of you, and if it hits two or more targets, it makes your Storm Strike and your Lava Lash also AoE whenever they do damage, so they'll do an extra, but according to this, is 8800 damage to everything, right? Um, so you're going to do that with AoE, um, and again, for Boulder Fist, just kind of like with Echo and Wad, you want to make sure that this is always at one charge. Or up, like you don't ever want to have this in two charges and you're losing that Maelstrom gain. This fucking cute guy thinks he can kill me. Try to just like, kill him. Let's, let's just fucking blow him up, dude. Oh, nice hacks, dude. Too bad you're dead. Thanks for ruining my video, man. Oh, you want to come back again? You're dead again. Want to res again, dude? Let's fucking do it, dude. Alright. <laughs> So let's pull some mobs. So I, I buff my weapon with with Flame Tongue. I like to think his Flame Tongue is a girl with a leash, so you can just probably put Flame Tongue where Leash was. See, so just hold their fist on cooldown whenever you can't. Uh, crash Lightning. Storm Strike is obviously first priority. A nice thing I like to do is. Before I used to use Purge as an aggro puller, but Lightning Bolt now is just kind of doesn't really do any damage, so I like to use it as an aggro puller. So yep, Flame Tongue, Crash Lightning, all grouped up, We're taking all damage. Crash Lightning again. But right now, it the rotation is pretty slow, and we are all a lot weaker. But you just have to be patient because we're missing a we're, we're missing a toolkit right now. If I were to say what our rotation would probably be in any two two or three more targets, even like yeah, like two or three targets more, it'd probably be make sure you always have flame tongue active all the time. Um, if it's PvP, make sure you always have frost brand active. These are always the first top priorities. Is to have your weapons in your hands. Make sure you always have Boulder Fist at one charge. If it's at two charges, you need to use a charge, right? Then Storm Strike if you have the Maelstrom. Especially if you have a Storm Ring proc, definitely use that. And then Lava Lash is just a uh, filler, right? You only push Lava Lash if you don't have anything else to push. Um, for talents, for this is kind of what I think is the best right now. For I'll, I'll tell you the, the variations in PvP and PvP. Uh, Boulder Fist right now is just so good, just because every Shaman right now is going haste, or most Shamans, so uh, our haste is insane. And the 4.4 4. 4 second recharge is really good. Uh, when we get 110, this turns into like a five and a half, six second recharge, and Hot Hand might be better. Um, for the next tier, it's Fair Lunge. Just a gap closer, right? We've never had a gap closer. It's really good. A lot of people complain compared to Fair Charge. Don't. It's it's a gap closer. It's nice. Don't complain. Uh, Rainfall, complete garbage. Awful healing over duration. Don't even bother taking this down. We're gonna show them same thing. Too long of a cooldown for only. Um, for 15 seconds, which can easily be killed. Uh, garbage talent again. Uh, tier 45, lightning surge, so they can change cap. It charges uh, quicker, so you, there's a radius. And another nice thing is you can, that's actually the max, yeah. I can just like, throw it. You can't go any farther than that. So, what? One, two, oh, charges, detonates after two seconds. Earth grab totem, same shit. Uh, varies on what you're doing. 
booty totem. So cool thing about this thing, I'm not gonna change it because I don't think it's very good. But so you plop it down and it hexes all the enemies, right? It's instant. But the thing is, is when you hex enemies, they can like literally just run out of the radius of your totem right now. Just go back to human form. So, with, so unless you're rooting them or something in your totem, you're fucked. Like it's, it's good. Like don't get me wrong. Like but it's just like they can just leave. <laughs> like they see and CC themselves. Not just add more DR. I really don't think that's good. Uh, tier 60 lightning shield. Uh, it's basically same shit. It's a talent. I don't think it's a good. Ancestral swiftness increases haste by 10%. Really good. Hailstorm. 3k damage, not very good. They need to buff this big time, so you want to do this. Uh, 275 Tempest. So Stormbringer, that's the thing with our auto attacks that reset our Storm Strike. Storm Strike is our highest damage ability. So you want this because two Storm Strikes is gonna give us so much damage, and so much burst. Overcharge. Yeah, Lightning Bolt's nice because it has a long range. So maybe, maybe for like raiding, like when you. You know you're not going to be on the boss all the time, that might be good. And then this is just like kind of a utility thing to help me out your teammates because I'm watching what it does. Uh, 90. These, all these talents I can see some uses. Crashing Storm is really good just for like AoE, this consistent AoE. I think this is really good for PvE leveling. I will probably take this while I'm leveling. Um, Sundering is probably the best talent for PvP just because it's burst and potential knockdowns. And Fury of Air is just a really big Maelstrom drainer and you can only realistically use this when you have a sentence or wolves up because you're not going to be able to actually do uh, fluid rotation with this enough. Um, last year, Ascendance, Landslide, so that and Earth Spike. I'm just doing it again Ascendance because again it gives us more Maelstrom and I think the more Maelstrom we get the better. Uh, I haven't really tested too much with these talents but I don't think they'll be as nearly as good as an actual damage pool down like Ascendance. And to be honest right now, I wouldn't even bother trying PvP right now because it's extremely unbalanced and if you want to play Enhance, it's only going to frustrate you because our damage is very low, our healing is low, our survivability is low. You can't carry, I can't carry VGs. If I can't carry VGs, you can't carry VGs. It's, it's very frustrating. So just sit tight. Uh, enjoy the invasions and wait for our effect because it's going to be a bumpy ride for a little bit. Thanks.